The willow is sacred too. Persephone, Hera, Hecate, Circe, all goddesses of the underworld. In Celtic mythology, the willow represents death goddesses. On a lighter note, there is an Irish saying that willows have souls and they speak through music. Harps were made of willow. In ancient Greece, men must touch and smell a willow as they pass a tree or they would lose their love. Tell your secret to a willow and it will trap it in its wood forever. Some would try to learn the secrets and tap the tree, hence the saying, knock on wood. Some folks hung willows over doors to keep out witches and evil. The Chinese practiced this for many centuries. Wicker, old ways. The word willow. Magical folk who can manipulate and bend situations. This is referring to the flexibility and the nature of willow. Willow provides cricket bats, a lightweight hardwood, beautiful baskets, bowers. The bark of the willow with salicin has been used as a traditional medicine for more than 3,500 years. The Sumerians and Egyptians used it. Gods and goddesses. Magical work involving the dark self, hidden parts of the psyche. You work with the willow on this side. On this side of magic, working with your dark self. Willow is very good for this. Legend says, the willow attracts snakes, a creature of pagan mythology. Druids believed the universe and all mankind was hatched from two scarlet eggs hidden within a willow tree. The fourth letter in the Celtic tree Ogam. It sits between its cousin Alder and Ash. Druids, dryads, bards and ovates all know the willow's affinity to watery domains and the moon's influence, a union of deeper connections and psychic visions. Put a stick of willow in the ground and it will grow. Thus, willow shows us a lesson. Keep growing and reaching higher, no matter where you are planted.